every second of every day, over 10,000 car journeys begin. Circling around the world is a maze of roads carrying over a billion vehicles. Cars play a major role in our lives, and we've come to depend on them day in and day out. They take us to and from work, carry the kids to school, and transport us wherever we need to go. In fact, it's hard to imagine just where we'd be without them. But how many of us give a second thought to what goes on under the bonnet when we start the engine? When you think about the, the environment in a car engine, it's, it's very different than any environment that we're familiar with in our day-to-day -day lives. Your car engine is a modern miracle of engineering. It's a powerful machine made from precision parts. Parts which constantly rub against each other with tremendous force and speed. All that rubbing and that pressing can lead to a phenomenon called abrasion, which can be very harmful in your car. Abrasion. What's abrasion? Well, I can show you abrasion. I've got a metal surface here, freshly machined, clean and shiny. If I bring an abrasive into contact with it, pretty soon, that becomes an abraded surface. Material has been worn away, the surface finish has been damaged, and we've created some debris. It's the same abrasive action that is the enemy of every car engine. In here, it's caused when the metal surfaces scrape past each other thousands of times every minute. Material is lost from these critical surfaces. And once that material is lost, then it's never coming back. You can never replace it. And the engine will never run quite as well again. And that whole process, that loss of material, is where. Engine wear is a serious problem. In fact, just how much wear occurs is staggering. In 12 hours alone, the amount of metal dust worn away from car engines in Europe could be equivalent to the weight of an entire car. So it's no surprise that on a global level, engine wear is one of the greatest motoring problems today. But luckily, there's a hero in the fight against abrasion. It's this stuff, engine oil. Engine oil acts as a lubricant. It forms a thin film between the moving parts of your engine, dramatically reducing the effects of abrasion. Without it, there wouldn't be a car on the road. However, Castrol have discovered that conventional engine oils don't always offer protection when you need it most. Castrol have technology centers located around the globe, and here in Pangbourne in the English countryside is one of their premier global research and development facilities. In the labs, scientists and engineers work side by side in the battle against abrasion. They've discovered there's a particular period of time when engine wear is at its worst, the warm-up period, the time it takes your oil to reach its optimum operating temperature. If you look at temperature versus time, by about 20 minutes, most engines have equilibrated at their designed oil operating temperature. So, it takes 20 minutes to go from cold to the optimum oil temperature for that engine. If we then look at wear rates against the same time axis, we see that in many, many cases, the wear starts at a low level, 
increases rapidly and then levels out. And it's interesting that right in the middle of the warm-up episode is the highest rate of wear. Why is the warm-up period so critical? Well, that becomes much clearer when you understand how the vast majority of us around the world drive our cars. In Moscow, traffic is very heavy. There are a lot of cars. The problem is when you drive the car, you're always stopping and starting, stopping and starting. There's no opportunity to warm up your engine. Our driving to school is very congested. There's a lot of moms. We're all late. We've all got to get there in a hurry. We've got to drop them off. And I do a lot of stuff and start driving. So really, we're, we're back and forth and back and forth. And I think generally our trips are very short. I get in the car, and by the time I'm at the school, we're around the corner, and it's five minutes. After work, I collect my wife from Pudong. Because of the congested roads and drivers constantly weaving in and out of traffic, I keep stopping and starting. So although the trip is around 10 kilometers, it takes me almost an hour to pick her up. In fact, most of our car journeys are less than 20 minutes long, meaning our engines and the oil within never reach the proper operating temperature at which they are protected. And this means the problem is the same in hot or cold climates. So it doesn't matter where you live, your engine is still vulnerable. What's worse, engine oil is slippery stuff. So the moment you switch your engine off, it drains, breaks its protective film, and leaves metal surfaces unprotected. But what if there was a component of engine oil which could stick to metal, coating it whatever the engine temperature, a component which could effectively defy gravity? For almost 20 years, Castrol had been working on a solution. What we've been doing at Castrol is working on very special kinds of molecules that cling very tenaciously to these vulnerable surfaces on the critical parts. And even when the oil film breaks down, even when there is metal-to-metal -metal contact, they get in the way. They protect those critical surfaces. This is the breakthrough. Castrol Magnatex Intelligent Molecules. Molecules which give oil the power to cling to critical parts, even when your engine is turned off. Ready to protect from the moment you turn the key. So what you would find with Castrol Magnetex intelligent molecules is that even though oil is forced to drain down into the sump by the force of gravity, the Magnetex intelligent molecules cling so tenaciously to the engine surfaces that if you left them there 100 years, the molecules would still be there, ready to protect. Oil that clings is a bold claim, but it's one that's based on rigorous testing. Here at Castrol's engine test facilities, the engineers do just that, putting Castrol Magnatech through its paces and carefully scrutinizing the results. This is one of 18 test cells where we run engines like this and engines from the smallest motorcycle to the largest truck. Typically, a passenger car engine test will last for a couple of hundred hours. Some of the longer engine tests will last for up to a thousand hours. In a typical week, we may use up to 30,000 litres of fuel. And it's really important that we do this testing so that we can understand the problems that engines and oils face in modern driving conditions. These are engine cams, critical components of your engine. 
These parts suffer heavily from abrasion, and that's why they are the subject of a great deal of testing, with and without Castrol Magnatech. These are the two engine test parts. This one has run without the intelligent molecules, and this one is Magnatech. And what you can see is real evidence of, of scratches, of abrasive wear, lots of damage there. And it's just not evident in the Magnatech cam. You've actually got a much smoother area where Magnatech has protected the uh, components. And actually, you can even hear the difference. Much quieter on the Magnatech cam when I run my fingernail over the surface. The lab tests look promising. But how does Castrol Magnatech perform in cars on the roads? The best people to ask are the professionals, car mechanics. First of all, the conditions for driving in Moscow are really tough. All those freezing temperatures and constant traffic jams. That's why we recommend Castrol Magnatec to our customers. And we tell our friends and we use it ourselves because it has features that protect the engine. Castrol Magnatec? Well, constantly changing lanes and braking suddenly in traffic jams and then pulling off again is a serious problem for your engine. But adding Castrol Magnatec reduces the wear and tear. But what about our drivers? Can they see the difference Castrol Magnatec makes? There's clearly a difference. This part is rough, and this part is smooth. Well, these tangent parts I've got, one is really smooth. It's, if I touch it, I can, it just, my finger just slips over it. The other one is really, um, well, it's ridges, and I can actually feel my finger jerking over it. Looking at the two cameras, this one on the right feels very smooth, while the one on the left feels very rough. And when I use my fingernail to scrape them, I can hear the one on the left is basically worn down, while the one on the right seems brand new. And if you're still not convinced, Tony has a final demonstration which will leave you in no doubt about Castrol Magnatec's protective power. I can show you the effect that Castrol's intelligent molecules have very easily. I've got some abrasive here which I've coated with the actual intelligent molecules that are used in Magnatech. And if I take something, perhaps people might recognize, a smartphone, I can attempt to abrade the surface of the smartphone with the abrasive, but the intelligent molecules protect the phone and no abrasion has taken place. What's more, there's another great advantage to switching to Castrol Magnatec. It doesn't really take any time to start feeling the benefits of Magnatec when you use it. it, it it's very interesting because even in a case, if I draw another graph, and I plot wear and time here, when we've tested these molecules, then even if you've used a poor oil and the wear is accumulated quite swiftly, if you change to Magnatec, you slow that wear rate dramatically. So the benefit of Castrol Magnatec is that it offers instant protection from the moment you turn the key. Giving us all peace of mind, knowing our car engines are well protected. I'm very pleased with this story. I think it's a good story and, and I think we're all very happy here that we've been able to work on technologies that bring these kind of advantages straight away. It's very rewarding to look at the results that we generate here and realize that we've created a solution to the problem of abrasive wear in engines all around the globe. And that solution is available to drivers everywhere.